Hey everyone, welcome back to another chainsaw carving video. So, the place I supply out in Harrison has had a couple requests for some wolf carvings. So, in today's time lapse, I'm gonna attempt, because you know, I'm not that good at wolves, I'm gonna attempt to do a wolf sitting, kind of looking up with a little howling face on him, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. So, let's get carving. It's looking kind of wolfy. I'm just gonna work on the face and we'll uh, see how it turns out. Okay, so I think it's super important that no matter how a carving is about to turn out or how big of a feeling you got towards a carving, whether it's gonna be good or bad, you should always finish it. Um, this is art. <laughs> it's open to interpretation. Now, like I said, I am like completely out of practice when it comes to, uh, to carving wolves, dogs, anything in that style, I just don't do them, period. But they uh, they are popular, so you will be seeing me carve a lot more of them. And uh, so like the price point on a carving like this averages from $40 to like maybe 80 if someone like doesn't want to barter you down on it. But uh, I was kind of going for theory in, in the sense of trying to, you know, make certain cuts, figure out the shape of what a wolf is, and uh, just kind of put it in here. Now this one, it's it's super blocky. Like the nose is blocky, the body's blocky, the arms are blocky, everything's blocky. It's not, uh, so in the future, like how I am going to improve, I'll look at this carving and I'll say things that I could have done, should have done, or want to do better on it. Like for instance, rounding the chest, rounding the back. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's literally just a square here. Um, figuring out proper proportions for the arms and then my face oh my goodness the face it's something I don't even know if you can see a lot of that but I just kind of you know did my best with a long snout and uh, I got the ears in there and I think the hardest thing for me when transitioning from uh, like doing bears to doing a wolf is naturally you're gonna want to cut and carve the thing that you've carved the most of so for me it's bears so short snout robust cheeks as opposed to a wolf which just has a very slender face and it uh, it's got some jowls at the bottom like it's got that little scoop here that really kind of defines the bottom of the, the wolf's face but it's either that or it has a flare out like there's just there's so much I can learn and do better on it and uh, it's an exciting journey to take, and I'm sure you guys will see me doing a couple more of these in the future. But uh, as for this carving, she's done. 
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll give you a quick one round of it. And uh, I think the elapsed time on this one is only about an hour. So it is what it is. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I'll probably be coming out with, uh, we'll shoot for one more video after this one this week. It is a short weekend. So uh, thanks for watching and keep on carving.